The Air Force School of Aerospace Medicine at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio, celebrates the functionality and capabilities of a new C-17 aeromedical trainer. A ribbon-cutting ceremony was held to commemorate this leap in training capabilities, which provides realistic simulations of what a flight nurse would face bringing patients home to the States after evacuations from around the world. Well, one thing it does is add the capability of us being able to train on two of the three platforms that we do aeromedical evacuation on. Before we just could train them on the C-130, and now we can show them another platform that's highly used. C-17s are the primary aircraft for intertheater evacuations, with more than 620,000 patients transported since 2001. The trainer is the most realistic simulator to date, so far ahead of its C-130 counterpart that it's considered the first of its kind and is the only certified C-17 in the Air Force for aeromedical evacuation training. Getting it here has been a feat of its own. With the development starting in San Antonio in 2011, a three-week and 3,000-mile journey across the country, and a final assembly here at Wright Pat by the 502nd Trainer Development Squadron in late 2015. The trainer is equipped with light controls, pressure controls, and even speakers to produce realistic noise for total submersion in the simulation. This trains them in the environment that they'll actually work in. So they get, they get exposed to it, they understand it. So when they actually fly on a live mission, that's not the first time they've actually been in that environment, working with that equipment, working in those conditions. The advantage of this highly accurate training can be the difference between life and death. When we're in the air, we're all the resources available. We don't have all the resources that someone may have in the hospital when they can call the expert physician or the expert nurse up to the floor. When AE flies, that's all we have are the five crew members. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class, Kellen McCoy.